Hey everyone, welcome to this tutorial where we will learn how to add font awesome icons to your Next.js 14 project using the app directory structure. Font awesome is an amazing library that gives you access to thousands of high quality icons and integrating it with Next.js can really elevate the look and feel of your web applications. By the end of this video, you will know exactly how to set up font awesome in your Next.js 14 project and start using these awesome icons in your components. Let's dive in. First things first, let's make sure we have a Next.js 14 project set up with the app directory structure. If you already have a project, great. If not, then let's create one real quick. To create a new project, you have to type this command npx create dash next dash app at latest and space you have to specify there the project name make sure to select yes when asked about using the app router once the project is created navigate into it i recently created my project already so i will be using this i already have opened it in my vs code and it is currently running in my browser you can see this is just a welcome message. And if I show you my version, I'm currently using 14.1.0. Now that we have our next year's project ready, let's install the necessary font awesome packages. We will need a few dependencies to get everything working smoothly. Now open the terminal in the root directory of your project and let's type these commands npm install at fort awesome slash font awesome dash svg dash core space at port awesome slash free dash solid dash svg dash icons at fort awesome slash react dash font awesome present this command installs three main packages first one is the core font awesome library the free solid svg icons package is containing all the free solid icons. then react font awesome is the react component for easy icon usage with our dependencies installed we need to set up the font awesome configuration this setup is crucial to ensure that font awesome works correctly with next.js especially considering the server side rendering now create a new file called font awesome dot tsx in the app directory of your project font awesome dot tsx and here i will import the config from fort awesome slash font awesome dash svg dash core after that we need to import the styles from fort awesome slash font awesome dash svg dash core slash styles dot cs now we have to set the property auto add css to false on the config object now i will export default function font awesome config and return null okay this configuration does two important things first it imports the font awesome styles then it sets the auto add css to false to prevent font awesome from automatically injecting its css this is important for next.js to avoid conflicts with server side rendering. Now let's integrate our font awesome configuration with Next.js. Open your app layout.tsx file. Before that, make sure you save this file first. Okay, now we have to add the head tag here and within the head tag, I will pass the font awesome component that we just created font awesome config. Okay, so make sure to import it from the path where it is stored. Now save it by adding font awesome config to the head of our layout. We ensure that font awesome is properly configured for our entire application. Great now we are all set up to start using font awesome icons in our component so let's create a simple example to demonstrate how it works now open your page.tsx in the app directory and replace its content with this new content first of all we will add the use client and add the let me delete everything add import font awesome icon from at the rate fort awesome slash react dash font awesome then we need to import the icons that we want to use so import fa home fa search fa user from fort awesome slash free solid svg icons okay so here if you type anything you will see the suggestions for all of the possible icons that you can use so for example i typed character a 
it is now showing me all possible icon names that contains the a character so in this way you can easily find what you want for example you want log out or maybe delete so f8 delete left so in this way you can find whatever you are looking for okay once that is done export default function home and here return the main tag within the main tag i will return the h1 tag that will contain the welcome message welcome to font awesome in next.js14 plus okay after that we need a div with class flex space dash x dash four and here i need to add all of the icons that we just import so in this way you will add the font awesome icon first of all you will use the component font awesome icon from the font awesome slash react dash font awesome and then you will pass the variables of the icons in the icon property for every font awesome icon component save it one last thing i will just quickly add some classes to the main tag flex min dash h dash green flex dash call item dash center justify between and padding of 24 save it now let's break down what we are doing here so first of all we imported the font awesome icon from the font awesome slash react dash font awesome this is the react component we will use to display the icons then we imported the specific icons from this package in this case we are importing fa home fa search fa user in our component we use the font awesome icon component passing the important icon as icon prop we can also set the size prop like this to 2 pixels 2x and let's pass it to all of these icons in this so in this way the icon would be a bit bigger or larger remember we need to use the use client directive at the top of the file because font awesome's react component uses the client side javascript so now if you go back to the browser you will see all of the icons are visible actually i just removed the use client and i noticed that it will work without the client component as well you can keep using the server side component so let me just double check i will stop the server and start it again just to make sure if that works without the use client okay it is still working that's great that's mean you can use this solution in the server side components as well. All right, font awesome icons are highly customizable. Let's explore a few ways to modify their appearance. So for example, here I can change the color to blue and here I can make it pin by passing the spin prop or property. And then we can also flip the icon and pass the possible value horizontal. Say, so, okay, you can see we have changed the color for this icon and this icon is now continuously spinning you can use a loader icon if you want to show some loading while something is happening and we have flipped this icon currently we will not see any difference for the flip because this is same on the from the both left and right side so we can use a different icon just to see how it will work with the flip f a so f a cloud upload leave it okay so this is how flip is working if you remove the flip then you will see it will rotate the shape okay all right there are many more props available for customization so check out the font awesome documentation for a full list of options there are some best practices and tips that you should keep in mind before we wrap up let's go over some best practices and tips first one is that only import the icons you need this helps keep your bundle size small so for example here we are not using this icon so we should not keep it here we should remove it. If you are using many icons, consider creating a central file to import and export them all. This can help with organization and potential tree shaking. Remember that some font or some features might require a pro license. So always check the documentation if you are unsure. And there you have it. You have successfully learned how to add and use the font or some icons in your next JS 14 project with the app directory structure. Let's recap what we have covered. We set up our next JS 14 project install the necessary font awesome packages configured font awesome to work with Next.js, integrated Font Awesome into our app layout, used Font Awesome icons in a component, explored some customization options. Now it's your turn to start incorporating these amazing icons in your own projects. Experiment with different icons, try out various customization options and see how they can enhance your user interface. If you found this tutorial helpful then please give it a like 
and subscribe to the channel for more Next.js and web development content. Also, please hit the bell icon to get notified for my upcoming videos and drop a comment if you have any question or if there are other topics you would like to see covered. Thanks for watching and happy coding. Goodbye.